Welcome to the IC Content Studio here at IC 2023. We are live here in Barcelona. Our topic today, the metaverse. And we have a special guest here, Alba Colado, account manager at uh, Bison Group Media Pro. Welcome to our stage. Thank you very much. Hello. Alba, um, there's a lot of uh, um, controversy about metaverse and the definition and expectations. Um, so what is your understanding of metaverse? What does it mean? Wow, that's a big question, right? What, what is the metaverse? So let's say the metaverse is the new internet that we are having. We are going there. Actually, it's very funny when people ask me for what is the metaverse because we're actually cooking right now the metaverse and we have never tasted it before. So it's difficult to define something that we don't know exactly where are we going. So maybe if you make me this question next week, I would tell you something different. But basically the metaverse is this new internet, more immersive, where you can create content and you can get assets that you also own and you can travel with this assets to other platforms. So let's say that I can walk with my avatar to different worlds and I don't need to register in every world and give my data. And, and that's so cool because there is this component of ownership, which, which is the game changer from the previous internet to the internet we have right now. So we are talking about something very, very immersive. So that's what, what I would say today, but maybe next week I say something different, you know? I like the story of food. That's very good because yeah. Spanish food is fantastic. I really recommend that. <laughs> that's the best. But from a technology side, um, how do we access this uh, new world? Do we do it by a mobile? Is it by a glasses? Or what are the technologies we're going to be using? For sure. There are a lot of technologies. So a very interesting point of the metaverse is that it helps to built a bridge between the physical world and the digital world. And there are a lot of technologies. For example, AR, augmented reality, it has a lot of potential. With AR through your screen, you can merge the physical world with digital assets, right? So you get this new reality. Many times we say like, no, the physical world is the reality. But right now, there are a lot of things happening above us that they are part of our reality as well. So you, we have the AR that you can, hey, have it with your phone. We also have the virtual reality with the glasses. And this is very cool because then you get inside this immersive world where you don't have a screen and you just see other avatars and you walk and you do stuff. So that's a very, very interesting technology as well. But I think something very important is that we should remove this layer of technology at some point because um, this makes everything more complicated and people need to, hey, have an easy access to all these experiences. So we need to make this multi-platform and easy to access for everyone. That's important because VR goggles are so expensive right away. I mean, this is something yeah. we need to have a really, uh, to have a big user base. It needs to be accessible via all platforms. For right? sure. There is a long process of democratizing the technology because right now the glasses, they are a bit expensive to afford and also they are very big to bring in your bag. So there is a long process, but we are on the way and we are trying a lot of new things. So it's very exciting. And Alba, it's great that you're here because here at ISE, there's so much about the metaverse. You see it everywhere, always, always in combination with collaboration tools, you know, with Teams and Zooms and how you combine all these worlds and how to make it more interactive and more interesting. And so, because when you just do, you know, video conference, it gets boring after a while. For and sure. I think the great thing with metaverse, it, it brings a new layer of interactivity there, right? For sure. That's super cool. You know, the other day I gave some virtual glasses to my dad, I, to my grandpa, to my grandfather who has 90 years old wow. and I put him on a paddle court so you know like he's not able to walk much so I could see he was smiling a lot and 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 he was playing paddle you know so he was able to interact with that new environment he was able to practice a sport so I see here a lot of potential to bring incredible um, emotions to people that maybe they cannot afford that so yeah it's it's super exciting and, but, but why do you see the main applications uh, of the metaverse right now? Is it gaming? Is it corporate? Is it, what, what is it? What's the main yeah. application? There's a bit of a mix because a lot of people are trying new things. So there's a bit of gaming, but there's a lot of e-learning as well, right? Like, hey, how to show to, if I'm a company, to my employees how this process work. And my employees are like all over the world. So through some like VR glasses, they can learn this process and stuff. Um, or for example, we made a very interesting project for Apple. So, so any 
technical person is able to fix uh, some kind of uh, laptop using AR. So, so this is super functional because a lot of people, they think that it's just for entertainment, but no, no there, no. Are, there is a lot of usage behind. Yeah. So there is a, bit, a big of mix right now of, of usage. Alba, you did already a few projects for customers. Can you name a few or can you name a single one or so? Yeah, for sure. I think right. you brought even a video with you, didn't you? Yeah, <laughs> I brought a video with me. <laughs> yeah, of course. So um, I'm working on a very exciting project called MetaHype. I'm working for the car brand Cupra that you might uh, yeah. know. From and Barcelona. It, <laughs> yes, and it's really exciting. So basically we are building a virtual collaborative island for brands and users to go and share culture and experience new type of emotions. This virtual world is called MetaHype. It's not yet live, but it will be very soon. And this came up because Cupra, they knew for sure that they wanted to start building a new strategy of engagement with the next generation. And, and their claim is we are the impulse of the new era, so we need to go outside and, and get synergy with other forward-thinking brands and connect with the users of the future. Well, the users, no, I don't like to use that word. The people, right? So, yeah, this is a very exciting project, and we are building up right now the experiences in this world. And from Vision Media Pro, we started devel developing the platform and now we are taking care of the creative strategy of the platform. So it's really cool. That's really cool, not only implementing it or developing it, but yeah. really creating the whole strategy. Because the metaverse is not just a linear story. There are hundreds of stories and, and different ways of interacting and different... Uh, that's really, really cool. Yeah. Um, so, but, you know, if, if there's a company or a brand, you know, if they really want, you know, do their first steps in metaverse, what are your recommendations? Okay, I would tell them, let's start small. No rush, because many times they want to do things and a lot of people, they offer them like very ambitious plans and stuff like, hey, first of all, it's nice that you are curious, start investigating, but start small. Like, for example, you can just start getting into the Web3 saying, hey, in my next event, I'm going to give to the user something called POAP, which is a proof of attendance yeah. subscribed on, on, on the blockchain. And I'm going to give this to the, to the people. So, yeah, like... In a, in a month, maybe, I give them a benefit because they went to the event. So let's just start small. Like, don't get nervous. There's time for everything. The first step is to be curious and start, like, making questions and asking, like, hey, what is the metaverse? I would like to be there. But there are a lot of ways to be there. So That's cool. So in... Some years from now, we will probably all meet in the metaverse, huh? Yeah. So, but we still like to be coming to, flying to Barcelona. Yeah, and see the for sure. It's both best of both worlds, I yeah, see. Yeah, for sure. You said this is very important. It's the best of both worlds. Like metaverse pretends to connect digital with physical. Like stay with that concept. That's I mean, great. we don't want people just like connected to the digital and to the screen. Not at all. And we want to enjoy Spanish food. We can do it only here. Yes. That's important. So yeah, for sure. <laughs> Alba Colado, account manager at Visa. Thanks a lot for being our guest. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. That was a pleasure. <laughs>